Hello everybody! In this video I want to present a small news about uh, the reaction diffusion in tissue. Uh, as you maybe know, maybe not, uh, in tissue you can speed up the reaction diffusion using NAMBA, a module for Python. Before you had to install it manually, but now when you install uh, tissue, when you activate tissue, it automatically will install the NAMBA module. So if we open the console and you see NAMBA module successfully loaded, it means that it, everything is fine. If you see some errors, something that is not working and you are on Windows, probably you need to run uh, Blender as administrator for the first time in order to install Namba and once you have Namba installed in your uh, bundle Python, you should be able to use uh, anytime you open it, even if you are not using the administrator uh, option. So how does the reaction diffusion works? So if we create an icosphere with some subdivisions on that, like uh, six, so we have this nicely subdivided sphere, we can go to tissue and if we go to weight paint, we can activate reaction diffusion. Reaction diffusion will create two different vertex groups, A and B. So if you paint something on B, like this and you press play what you will see is a simulation of a reaction diffusion with these two substances that will spread along the surface uh, reacting each other creating those patterns that are actually the pattern that you can see on the animal skin this is based on the initial theory of Alan Turing I implemented the Gray Scott model and uh, under the object data panel under tissue reaction diffusion you can see that there are some settings. You can increase the number of steps in order to speed up the simulation, or not, not that much, like 50, 50. So now it's a bit faster. And uh, in the console, oops, in the console you can see the computing time. So let's pause it. So here you can see that the simulation time is taking this amount of time while the other times is just needed for reading and writing the vertex group. So I hope that is fine. Uh, that is something that will be speed up in the Blender API. But as you can see, the simulation itself is not the lowest part of the uh, of the iteration. So you can increase the number of steps, and you shouldn't have uh, so too many slowdown. So. If you want to see a bit smaller pattern, you can work on the scale, do not increase too much, otherwise everything will disappear, it's a bit unstable. So you can reduce a little bit, like 0.5, if you want to see a bit more detail. And if you have two parameters, F and key, and you can play with those parameters in order to have different behavior in the pattern. Um, if you use the the slider behavior of those values, you will see that I have set some uh, boundaries. So it means that if you are working inside those boundaries, things should work more or less. So as you can see, sometimes the simulation is really unstable. Let's set 50 again. And uh, if you play with those parameters, you can find a combination of uh, F and key that works fine. So let's try, for example, here, something like that. Okay, just disappear. Can I do something more? Let's increase a little bit that much, that as well. Okay, it's pulsing, something is happening. And now we have the spirals. Yes. Sometimes it's just about getting the proper loop behavior. You can combine them with uh, modifiers, of course, like uh, the displays, it's the easiest one.
and we can play with different settings like let's try to increase them if you increase them usually you will get something a bit more stable let's try something like that maybe we need uh, to increase a bit more okay and now we have a different pattern if we try to increase this as well maybe decrease another nice pattern, pattern that I found is something like uh, 0 0.098 and 0 0.057 and as you can see if you draw a line it kind of stay in that place but smoothing and you can start drawing a network of lines and what you will get will be a pattern that is quite similar to a Voronoi pattern let's draw something like that we can make it a bit faster you will see that the small cells will disappear the small bubbles let's see if it's uh, stable or if it's changing and you can also change the diffusion speed of the two substances so if we set here 7 you see that it changed completely if we set again 9 I hope that you like this uh, quick video about the reaction diffusion uh, using tissue and uh, if you have any question you can ask in the comment uh, if you want to support tissue you can join my patreon page and uh, I will share more information more detailed information and of course you will be part of a supporting team for tissue thank you